So with that, I want to go ahead and get into what is going to be really the <coughs> core subject I want to talk about today. And it's a program that many of you may recall uh, first came out last year in the state of California. Um, and it's uh, administered or offered through a, an agency, the California Housing Finance Agency, or what we call Cal CalHAFA. And that agency has been around for years. I've actually originated Cal CalHAFA loans, or back in the day, we used to call it CHAFA loans, uh, all the way back in the 80s when I, when, when I was in the upper desert uh, in L.A. County, in the Palmdale-Lancaster area. Well, the agency, you know, last year with uh, through the state of California had gotten funding for a uh, loan uh, program, a down payment assistance loan. Uh, the program was known as and still is known as a uh, dream for all. <clears throat> and if you may remember when it first came out, uh, the way it was implemented was a little rough. Uh, it was implemented on a, a first come, first serve basis. So last year when it came out, it literally, we ran out of funds in nine days. So it was a mad dash. A lot of folks got uh, disappointed when they missed out. Uh, the demand was, of course, overwhelming. And so uh, this year, uh, the program is back. Thus, I have the title of this slide, Return of the Dream for, Yo uh, Dream for All Program. Um, and again, uh, what this program is, is that you get down payment assistance in the form of a loan. Um, now that loan has no monthly payments and uh, at a later date, you are required to repay back the loan, uh, as well as sharing in the appreciation of your home at the time you're paying back the loan. So really popular program, a real, really, really big help for home buyers. Reason is the amount of loan that you can get. Uh, you are able to get a loan of up to 20% of your purchase price with a maximum maximum amount of 150,000. So if you do the math on that, that basically says you can buy a home up to $750,000 and get a down payment assistance loan of 20% of that, which turns out to be 150. Uh, and so of course, you know, with that down payment assistance, you only need a loan amount to purchase that 750 home. You only need a loan amount of 600. So that's how powerful that is. That's how how much of a uh, how how big of a size of a loan you're getting to help you with that down payment. So what does it does? It, it extends your purchasing power. So in the example that I just gave you, you know, you may have been pre-qualified for a home at 600,000 with a three three percent down payment. So effectively, your loan amount's about just under 600. Well, with this program, uh, even uh, even with you being approved for a six hundred thousand loan amount, now because you can get a grant of, or not a grant, a loan of up to twenty percent of the purchase price, and at seven fifty, that's the maximum one fifty. That means now, when you thought you can only buy a home for six hundred with three percent down, now you can buy a home at seven fifty, get that twenty percent loan uh, from the Dream from Dream for All program. Still need a six hundred thousand dollar loan amount, so. There you go. Now you're suddenly not buying at 600. You're now buying at 750. And yet your monthly housing expense is really going to be the same. Why? You're not having to make a payment on that 150,000 dream for all loan. <clears throat> so that's how it extends your uh, buying power to a higher price level. And in this example, you're, you are saving over $900 a month in monthly housing expense and monthly payment. Uh, because you're not having to make payments on that $150,000 loan piece that's covering your down payment. So again, in terms of the loan, it is a loan. You do have to pay it back, but there's no set term or timeline to pay it back. <clears throat> you pay it back you know, under different scenarios. You sell the home, obviously you're going to have to pay it back. And that's going to be the most common case. How, how do you pay it back? Two things. One is you have to pay back the original loan amount that you were given. So again, in our maximum example of 750 purchase price, where you're getting a hundred and fifty thousand dollar dream for all loan, uh, at a later date when you sell that home, uh, and assuming it has appreciated, uh, you would be paying back the initial hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan that you were given, as well as twenty percent of the appreciation gained since you purchased and financed the home with the dream for all program so for example if you bought the home for 750 got the dream for all for 150 and then uh, five years later you sell the home for 950 
uh, then you've got a 200,000 appreciation, right? From your purchase price of 750 to your sale price of 950. So for, uh, 20% of that or $40,000 you have to give to the agency along with paying back the 150 initial loan amount, so add those two together. It's 190,000 that you would pay back to the agency at whatever point in the future you sold that home with a $200,000 of appreciation. Uh, if your income for this program is under 80% of the area median, then your payback of the loan is your original loan amount and only three quarters of the 20% of appreciation calculation. So you get a break if your income was under the 80% area median at the time you got the dream for all program. So that's a big help there. <laughs> now, in terms of the return of the program and the process, uh, it should be a lot more orderly now, as I put in the slide. It's not going to be first come, first serve. It's going to be a lottery system. And so here's how it's going to work. The first thing you're going to want to do is get pre-qualified for the program. Uh, there is an actual a lender pre-qualification form that the agency uses that they would want to have submitted. Uh, we can help you with that. So you first get pre-qualified for this program. Uh, and you get the pre-qualification form or certificate. Uh, there will be a there will be a lottery held for access to the program, but not till April. So we've got plenty of time uh, for folks to get pre-qualified for the program, get the pre-qualification form, and be able to then enter the lottery. <clears throat> so the lottery will be in April, and the lottery at that time, what the lottery is going to do is it's going to give you access to getting a voucher. The voucher is what you're going to use to reserve the funds you need. And then you have 90 days uh, from that point to find a home and get under contract or open escrow with this program uh, by being under contract within that 90 day period after you successfully get a voucher as a result of the lottery. So again, that should be a much more orderly process relative to last year when it was first come first serve a lot of people lost out a lot of you know unhappy people stressed out people so this should make it a lot more orderly i hope and and you know keep it a smoother situation for everybody now there's a couple of requirements about there at least one requirement that's kind of new um, first of all all the borrowers in this program so if you have multiple borrowers all borrowers have to be a first time home buyer now typically that is defined as someone who hasn't owned a home in the last three years. Um, now, that's still the case. All the borrowers have to be first-time home buyers uh, in terms of meeting that, you know, not owning a home for three years definition. But in addition now, there's a first-generation home buyer requirement. What that means is at least one of the borrowers must be a first-generation home buyer. The criteria for that is the borrower uh, cannot have owned a home in the last seven years. And then the parents of at least this one borrower uh, have not ha do not have a present ownership of a home. So a little again, confusing. All the borrowers have to be first time home buyer, not owned a home in the last three years. But then at least one of those of those home buyers have to be first generational, which means they cannot have owned a home for seven years and their parents cannot currently own a home. I know it's a little strange, a little hard to follow, but that is a new requirement of this program. And I think, again, it's really trying to focus and, and kind of narrow and apply the focus on folks who truly are first time in home ownership. That's really what this program is trying to serve. Uh, you do have to meet income limits. Uh, and they, those income limits vary by county. And what's interesting is this year, the income limits for the Dream for All program specifically have been lowered over the overall Cal half of the agency's first time home buyer income limits that they have for all their other programs. So the income limits for this Dream for All program have been lowered. For example, in my immediate county, county here where we're headquartered, uh, we're in Palm Springs, that's Riverside County. The uh, maximum income limit to be eligible for this program is $149,000 a year. That's the household income. San Bernardino, the same thing. Uh, San Diego is a little bit higher. 
Uh, LA County, interestingly, interestingly, is only 155,000. So that's going to be kind of a tough, tough limit for parts of that county for sure. Orange County is a little over 200. If you need to find out for your particular county, get a hold of me or contact us, and we'll have, be happy to give you the chart of the the limits throughout uh, well, throughout the state of California. Um, but again, keep in mind these income limits are lower. That could make it a little bit more of a challenge to qualify for the program for that first mortgage that you do have to get uh, in conjunction with this uh, this loan, uh, this straight loan uh, that you don't have to make payments on. And again, as I have uh, commented on at the beginning of this slide, uh, this really is a good program for extending your purchasing power. Uh, it can get you a loan of up to 750 or get you a home up to $750,000 with $150,000 of down payment assistance. That should make a terrific difference in helping, in particular, first time home buyers achieve home, home ownership in an affordable way. And we're happy uh, to share this program with you. You're going to see a lot about it. There's going to be a lot of videos on YouTube and TikTok, I'm sure, and everywhere. Uh, so uh, if you're at all interested, you're a first time home buyer, this would really be something to get involved with as soon as you can. And we're here to help you uh, make it as smooth as possible.